person has the same amount of time, while、well, some people can use it wisely, but others cannot. Greetings, honorable judges and fellow leaders of tomorrow. As kids, we always hear grown-ups say, "Go faster! Do first things first! You can't complete this at this rate." I couldn't understand why my parents calculated time so seriously until they gave me an awesome experiment that explains the time management skill. First, they brought a jar that looked like was filled with beans. It was really, really full. Then they started pouring it into a large bowl, and I discovered there was an apple, a plum, two eggs, and a few red dates, dates hidden in the bin. Hidden in the bean. The capacity of a jar equivalented to the time it had my day. The large objects, well, they were the, they were the important things of the day, such as running, drum lessons, Chinese class, English reading, and entertainment. And finally, the beans, they were the time I dawdled. Then they started refilling the jar with the beans. They poured in some beans and poured in some more. When it got to halfway full, I called out, "Don't keep filling, or else we can't put in the apple and all the rest." But they didn't listen. They kept on filling until all the beans were in the jar. They put in some red dates and had to squeeze in an apple. By this time, the jar was full. Now, obviously, the plum and two eggs got left out. And then Mom said, "Did I use magic?" Well, technically, no. It was just the order I'm putting things in that changed the results. Picture this experiment in real life. Filling the jar first with all the beans is like dawdling for half of the day. And even if you're willing to do some important things. Like trying to put in the apple and red dates, something will get left behind, such as the two eggs and plum. In summary, from the earlier example and experiment, we will learn something very important: not dawdling. It helps us save time and focus on the things that we have to do. Second, prioritize the important things of the day. Turn your time into an extra apple and put it in the jar first, or else you'll never get the important things done. Third, plan ahead. At the morning of the day, at the Monday of the week, at the first week of the month, if you have a goal or task, plan it in your head. And I'm sure if you follow all the above, you'll discover a very useful life skill called time. Management.